Here's some update on the garden. Here's our tomato plants that my nephew started from seeds. They're uh, about a foot and a half tall. And the uh, pepper plants are right here. They were planted at the same time. Uh, and they've, I guess the coals knot we had kind of stunted their growth because they're not growing as good. But the tomatoes are growing. This middle line here was planted uh, only about two weeks ago. And this other line back here was planted the same time as these. These are both lines. They're looking good. On the far side there we have uh, squash. There's a couple of them that didn't make. This were seeds that we put in the ground using the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardens seed planter. Try to get around here without the squirrel jumping on me. Uh, we got one planted in a brick here. But these are these are squash we planted from seed. I know I need to weed, but I'm trying to learn my wild edibles and I'm trying to see what else is going to grow up out here. So just hang with me on that one. Uh, I was talking to John last night about the wild strawberries. We have them all over, really. Uh, I'm gonna go down here and pick some, just for. I'm gonna be cutting grass Monday. But uh, they're all out here. I know there's more down here by the big garden, which is flooded and it's kind of a disaster. I'm going to have to replant it. Uh, as you can see, the water's standing in it. We do have some some cucumbers. This is right here. Um, that right there. We probably got ten growing. You can see right here. There's a couple of bigger ones down through here. We even have chickens growing in the garden. But uh, I'm probably going to have to replant this. Our, uh, my trench over there, I've got tomatoes just on the other side of the trench. I know you can't see from here, but they're, they're looking pretty good. They're looking decent. Uh, so they're not getting, maybe they're not getting too much water. But they're coming along. I'll take y'all up to the front garden in just a little bit. This is our our big garden, as I call it. It's probably uh, what 30 by 40, maybe. The barn garden, which is the small backyard garden, is about uh, 20 by uh, about. 12 to 16 by 20. You can see these, these wild strawberries. Pick a few more. The chickens have been up. That was a little gushy. Chickens have been up through here, so I don't know if they eat them or not. But they're all over the place. This hedge growing and dropping all these little flowers. You can see all that. There's the hedge. We just left a big old bunch. All this back here at one time was uh, was a grown up hedge. I mean, even where the garden is was grown up. I remember cutting hedge bushes out. You know, six inches, six to eight inches in diameter. That's crazy. 
This is that water runoff from the next door neighbors I was telling y'all about. As you can see, it's just constantly running down through here and running down through where I was going to put my my fish pond and down through the, the garden. You can see it running. And it hadn't rained today yet. This was still working off of rain from uh, uh, yesterday morning. And you can see it. It's steadily running. And runs all the way through the garden and out the other end. Runs down across that piece of property. And then there's a pond that's on some other videos down there. That it runs down to. It's all wet down here. That's two years ago it, it grew a really good garden down here and I'm hoping it does again this year we're just gonna have to probably replant because we planted uh, let's see eight rows from from here to the, the trench and I'm thinking we got eight or nine rows on the other side and there's stuff popping the ground that you really can't tell at this time. I mean, I can't step out in there to go take a closer look because I'd bog, in, bog up half my leg. Uh, I know some of that's weeds, but some of it may be groceries. I'm going to walk around here. What we did is took my old trout line and uh, took these two tent stakes and stuck them in every uh, foot and a half or two foot depending on what we were planting and run the trout lines down. I had two lines to go plant on. You can see the water just mucho, mucho water. But right through here we have our tomato plants. All down this line. Let's see, starting right there. You can see a couple of little hills there, and then they planted all the way down. And they've grown up. They, there's some of them about a foot tall, and they were all about that tall when we planted them. That one hadn't really taken off. And we've got a couple of them up through here. But I mean, you can just see the, the abundance of water. It's crazy. Anyway, I'm going to stop this video and go up there and get a picture, uh, video of the front garden. And I'll get back to you. I'll add it to this one.